Hi everyone, today I just want to share with you my experience with this Extreme Power US90105 above ground pool and spa solar panel heating system. So I have this for over a month now and what I can say is that it did heat up my pool really well. Um, before I installed this heater, my average temperature in my pool is in the mid 70s about 73 to 78 and on the first day that i installed this heater for my as you can see on my previous uh, unboxing and installation video on that same day my pool hit up to 81 degree and i was able to keep that so right now my pool is averaging between 81 and 85 degrees in the afternoon the only problem i have seen with it is that the water output have actually decreased previously I'm running my filter at least 8 to 12 hours to get that uh, two full complete turnover now I actually have to run this 24 7 just to get my water clean so if you're going to purchase this I would suggest that you install a I don't have that yet a, di a diverters uh, valve so that if it's cloudy or if you want to run the filter at night as well, you can uh, divert the system so that it doesn't run through this uh, panel which slows down the water pressure. Or you can have two of this panel and install it in parallel. Okay, remember, install it in parallel instead of installing it in series. So if you look at this right now, uh, this whole panel, this is a 10 foot panel and this actually gives you, if I believe, it gives you 40 foot of hose length because for each one, each side right here, see this one is split. So according to the uh, instruction, it goes up there and then down and then goes up here and then down. And basically everything goes over here. And if you also notice on my setup, previously I'm, I'm planning on uh, moving this panel around but I just realized it's not easy to do especially when you already have water in it uh, you don't want to keep moving it because you might uh, damage the unit so what I did is I just selected this spot right here which gives me the most uh, sunlight right now you can see this is about uh, 10 a.m. in the morning and you can see one panel right now have the light and the other one doesn't really have much by noon this should be full sun and maybe I think around two o'clock then I'll start losing uh, sun again um, basically I'm gonna have like half and then the other one doesn't have the sun so at most I get at least two hours of full sun the rest I'll just get like a partly shaded and partly sun so let me show you right now uh, my pool if you look at my pool right now, I have it covered. I have the sail shade and basically that gives me partially shaded pool all day. Let me show you the temperature right now that we have. If you look right now, this is a, my thermo this is a meat thermometer that I have. It's showing it's about 81.8 or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's go to our pool water. So my pool water right now is showing us 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's about the same as the uh, air temperature right now. This is because I turned off the filter last night. But if I ran the filter at night uh, during the daytime, this is going to be around 78 or 79. So let me show, let me turn on the pump. So what I'm going to do is I'll put like a... I'm going to put a pipe over there so we can measure the water that's actually coming from the um, panel. Okay. So I just uh, rigged the pipe and uh, basically put it in the output from the Camp Connect. So this is the same pipe I use when I want to increase my pH. That's the best way to uh, increase your pH without uh, affecting your alkalinity. So let me turn on the panel right now and see 
how much uh, what's the water temperature that's coming up okay so I just turn on the pump so of course this is gonna be really hot right now it's registering at 108 degrees uh, because the water has been sitting on the panel for a while so let me wait uh, let it run for about 10 minutes and see how will it go down okay okay so we are now at about 10 minutes so let me go put this thing back in and see how much is coming out of this th uh, thermometer So 10 minutes so this has been running for 10 minutes already so we know that the all the hot water in the panel has been purged so this is now the new water that's coming in and it's registering at 84 84.2 and it's basically it's just um, running 84 and 84.2 okay I could say that if you have a pool that is 2,000 gallons or less, uh, you'll be able to get by with one, especially if you have a place where you can actually put it and get sun all day. So if you have a pool larger than 2,000 gallon, I would suggest go get one panel for every 2,000 gallon of pool. Or maybe if you can put it in a place where you get full sun, then you probably can get by with uh, one panel per 3,000 gallon or 4,000 gallon but I would suggest the more you can uh, fit into your place the better